Hi everyone, it's Ed here for Gamespace. We're going to take a look today at the latest update to Guild Wars 2 and possibly one of the most hotly anticipated additions to the game that we've seen in a long time. No, it's not an expansion, it's build templates and equipment templates. Now, that might not seem like a huge feature, but for those of us that have played Guild Wars 2 for a serious amount of time, it's one of the bigger missions that we've seen in the game and we're getting it today. So what you're going to do is we're going to have a look at this update and see what features it adds. You join us, I'm a little Zuren engineer here in Queensdale, a relatively peaceful farmland um, and hopefully somewhere that we can step through these updates and take a look at. So just while we get logged in here and have a look at this, you'll find that all of the new updates are available under the standard hero panel. So for those of us that have played the game before, we hit H and we'll find that they're in here. The first one we're going to look at is the equipment templates. And if I get around to clicking on equipment, then you'll find your standard equipment interface with six new tabs anointed at the top of that. Now, these six new tabs aren't all unlocked from scratch, two are, and the rest of those are available to unlock on each character at 500 gems apiece. As you can see, each of the tabs gives a preview of the current equipment build that's available for each of those one to six tabs, whether that be nothing on it, whether it be something with lots of equipment and a legendary. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you how this works we should find that we're going to choose equipment tab one now to equip and unequip items to this template because this is a template after all only one's active at a time you can go ahead and equip um, any equipment trinket or back brace whatever you want as normal so you can just right click and unequip now we've done that, you've seen that that item's gone back into our equipment panel on the left hand side, but it hasn't necessarily reappeared in our inventory yet. So what you'll find is that if an item is equipped from an inventory, which we're going to do now, it'll go into the template as usual. What you also find is that once it's been equipped into a template, it can then be used in any other of the six, in this case, templates that's available and it will disappear out of your inventory. Only when it is unequipped from every template that you got it in, will it go ahead and return back to your inventory. So it's a single use and then many reuse sort of situation. It's a little complex to get your head around at first, but once you see it happen, then it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, what we're doing now is we're actually copying and pasting templates. So you can copy and paste those setups between each of the different tabs that are available. And also it's a nice added extra. Um, if you've got a legendary item, then you can change the customization within each legendary item per template. So if I take Apothecaries there, and then we go into another template, we can change that to Bringers, and uh, you find it's still Apothecaries there. So that's a nice thing. Uh, equipment templates work pretty much the same as you'd expect for regils, um, sorry, regils, sigils, <laughs> runes, equipment, anything else that you can use within the equipment system right now is standard, can be modified and added as a template. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think the, uh, I think local wildlife wants us to get a move on. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to just swap out into the build templates now and take a look at those for you. We can just head into the build submenu. And what you'll find here is again a similar sort of change. So you've still got your standard weapon skills, traits, etc. all here, but you've now got an extra tab and an extra set of tabs along the top. So you've got 
three, if I remember correctly, uh, build tabs are going to be available from scratch, and then four, five, and six will be unlockable again at a cost of 300 gems. Um, we're just going to go ahead and unlock this one now, just so you can see the process of that. And they again are locked per character. Um, so if you've got multiple characters, you need to unlock four, five, and six with uh, extra gems per character. Now, what you also find with those one to six tabs that are along the top, they allow you to create a template for any sort of trait. This is especially useful since we've got elite skills now in the game, sorry, elite specializations even, um, and each of those has its own subset of skills and weapons that it can use. Again, just like the other templates, we can go ahead and we can rename that. Although this actually works, as you saw previously, the uh, equipment rename doesn't seem to work right now. Um, so let's call this Botty McBot Scrapper because that way I know what it is. And we can go ahead and we can then store those templates over on the left hand side, assuming that you have an available unlocked slot. Um, unfortunately, we can't actually unlock any extra slots right now because that isn't working. However, that should be working when the game goes live with these changes. So what we're going to do is... As you can see, this template shows you everything that's going on with it. And you can see a number of the other features that we've got here from applying it um, to going ahead and copying that or inspecting it further. But we're going to close out that and we're just going to go ahead and we are going to copy this build template. And once again, you can see I can't actually go ahead and apply that right now because that storage space is full. So uh, we're going to delete some storage space. And now we're going to store this template for further use later. And there we go. We go ahead and we've got Boy McBot Scrapper. So it's again a little unintuitive straight off the bat. You can't simply overwrite existing storage space, but that storage space will allow you to go ahead and keep um, your build templates available for later use should you want to add them into your active tabs. Now, the reason for doing that will become apparent later when we show you how to switch between those build templates that are available. However, right now, as you can see, what we can do from copying those templates is to share them with our fellow players. So we can copy that and we can go ahead and we can paste it in chat. That allows people to inspect them. It will hopefully allow you to also be able to mail those build templates between players. So it looks like here's body make bot face and I can go ahead and I can paste that string of characters into a message so I'm assuming that we'd be able to do that uh, outside the game as well without having to worry too much about that it makes build templates really powerful that you can go ahead and you can just copy and paste those entire build templates um, that can then go ahead and just be pasted back into the game shared emailed um, and pushed out. Um, what's really nice as well is that when you drop that into the game, you can also inspect and you can apply other people's builds to um, your own character should you have the tabs available. It doesn't appear to be working right now, but once again, that's hopefully something that will be working once the game goes live. Um, other than that, um, there's not a huge amount more to show you except probably how to go ahead and switch between those. So what we'll do is we'll swap out and I'll show you something that's uh, really powerful with this. And what really makes the build templates especially incredibly powerful for this Guild Wars 2 update. So with this particular update, what we're finding is that the build templates and equipment templates are great. But to make them work fluidly, what ArenaNet have done is they've added in hotkeys for equipment and build template swap out. Um, this allows players to quickly bind a single key. As you can see right now, I'm using that to swap out between builds. It allows players to have a single key just to simply bind between the different setups they already have in place. Um, and when they're not in combat, to simply switch out to them. So we already gave that a test by taking down this poor cow. And I'm trying to go ahead and swap out between them right now, and I can't. So we're assuming that that will be the same across all of the other game modes within Guild Wars 2. So that will be uh, PvE, World v World, um, Raids, however you want to play the game. As long as you get a chance to stop and rest, get out of combat, then potentially you can swap in 
a new build or a new equipment template. What makes that really powerful is the potential for players not only to share um, and pull knowledge within the game, but then to be able to change up tactics and playstyles within the different elements of the game. Uh, it's my hope that despite the massive potential cost, that this is going to be a rocking new update for Guild Wars 2. Thanks very much for watching the preview and keep it peeled here at Gamespace.com for more future Guild Wars 2 updates as they come. Thanks for watching.